Hey, it's Mike coming to you with another screen share video. What I wanted to do today was show you, I want to try to get through this pretty quick, but it is going to take a little bit of time, but I want to show you how to take landing page software, <clears throat> create your own landing page, and get good conversions. So what I want to do is take you into uh, this software. I'm logged into my account here. You can see I've got different, uh, different pages, but we're going to go ahead and create a new one. And we're going to enter the domain name that I want to use. Okay, so we're just going to go back and kind of proofread this, make sure we got it in there right. You want to make sure you enter the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot and then your domain name whatever it might be so you're going to get I'm going to show you how to get this software for free but then I want to show you how to use it I mean there's there's also videos always remember each page there's a video right up here that shows you see where it's green right there it shows you exactly how to use this software but I'm just going to go through it a little bit more in detail so that because I've had a lot of questions people say they can't figure out how to get past this step right here so all right so we've got uh, target traffic secret .com. okay folder is if you want to have a subdomain so let's say we create this domain we're going to leave this blank right now we're going to go to the next step but if we come back and we want to make a subdomain so we want to use this domain and make and create another landing page off of it this domain, then we'd have a forward slash behind that. So uh, what we do is we'd put a uh, we'd put the domain in there like that. Okay, then we would create a subfolder. So we'd basically call it whatever we want to call it. So if we wanted our our landing page here to say targetedtrafficsecret.com forward slash traffic and have a separate landing page, then we'd put the word traffic right here and then hit next. But in this example, we're just creating a brand new domain, so we don't want a sub folder off of it yet. All right, here's where we're going to put our, our uh, information from our server, which in this case is GoDaddy. All right, so, and, and this will explain, this video up here will explain all that. I don't want to go through all that because that, that'll make this video too, too long. So we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, this will be your login details here. So whatever your login details are to your server, to your, your hosting company, that's what's going to go right here. So here's my username. Here's my password. Uh, you'll get this. This See, this will come emailed to you. So like say if you come to this software for the very first time, you set up a free account. I'm going to show you how to get it free. This is a $497 piece of software. I'm going to show you how to get it free. So you come in here, you set up your free account, and then you go pick one of these hosting, and there's going to be more added to it. See, I've got GVO also, but it's not in here yet. So I just created a HostGator account, and I use HostGator so that I can use this software because this software really works good. I mean, I'm getting over 60% um, conversions on my landing pages. So that's what I want to show you how to do. But I'm using HostGator, so I set up a HostGator account. I got the baby plan, which was like $9.97 a month. And then uh, when you set it up, they'll email this right here to you. So this server FTP uh, code right here, they'll, they'll send it to you. Then whatever you set up for a username and a password, then hit next. All right, so it shows you the different templates. Now today, I'm going to show you how to create just a simple uh, page without a video. So here's the video templates down here. So you got five different video templates. I use uh, this one right here a lot. I've got a page right now that's converting about, oh, it's about 42, 43%. It's got a video on it. Um, works good. But I'm going to show you I'm using some of these templates up here. Um, this one here I like really, really well. 
it's converting it converts about mid 40s but the one I want to show you today is this one right here now I want to show you instead of having all this stuff down here we don't want all that that's that's going to make your page really slow down as far as conversions we don't want all that we want this thing to be short simple clean and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so we check mark this one all right we go down here we hit next okay the warning top text that's going to be the text and I'm going to show you here's what they look like when they're done so here's that very template see how I've got rid of all the bottom portion how it's just see I can't even scroll it all everything's above the fold which is what you want the fold being right down here across here this is your fold down here anything below here that you cannot see that's below the fold everything above uh, what you can't see down below that's above the fold that's what we want we want to keep everything above the fold especially especially the uh, email address form all right so here's your top warning label right up here and now here's what I don't want you to do I don't want you to come in here and copy all the stuff off my capture pages. I'm going to I'm giving you access to all this stuff. You can use them to model off of, but please do not copy word for word because for, well for one, I've got copyright stuff on it, but for two, um, we don't want the same landing pages out there running around because then it don't make yours unique. So use mine for an example, just don't copy stuff off of it. All right, so there's the uh, the top text, the warning text see it says uh, right up here warning now here's another thing here's the other here's the version 2 that you can also get um, for free as well and I'll show you how to get that as, as well so you can use this I have personally I have better conversions with this first style uh, these this second style I've got some of them getting 40 50 percent but I've got some of these here getting over 80% conversions so I just I like what I can do better with them uh, the layout and things so that's just my personal uh, preference all right so let's go and get and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this up just a little bit so we're going to put that right here in the top top header and I'm going to change this up a little bit um, I think for now, for time's sake, see you can come back here anytime you want and change it. I think for now, we're just going to buzz on through here. <clears throat> Excuse me. What, but what I do to, to keep increasing my conversions is I keep playing with this. This is things I've learned uh, from Vic inside the Internet Traffic Formula. And this, this is all stuff that I'm doing because when I first started out, I was getting 20 and 30 percent conversions. Uh, quite a few 30s and, of course, a lot of 20s. And I've had some that didn't even get that. But what I've learned in here, in this uh, formula of his, is how to use and, and change your titles and change different things, just tweak things. I've made one little change on a capture page, and I'll show you. And it was right here and right here that increased my conversions by 15% just those two little changes your title here has a whole bunch to do with it so what you do is you just come back and you play with it and you tweak it and of course you got to test it you got to split test <clears throat> so what you've got to do and I'll show you how to do this at the video in the end of the video here is create a thank you page and then you put a tracking pixel on that on that thank you page and this is all taught inside the internet traffic formula by the way but uh, in detail so you you put those types of things on your capture pages so that you'll be able to see how they convert otherwise you're just guessing all right so I'm going to copy that piece there you can see with this template this green section right here if you try to leave this out it's just going to stay green that's the only thing disadvantage uh, about this template is I didn't want that green in there I just wanted to have this top red no green nothing here but this template wouldn't let me do that so um, I've made it work uh, with it 
And there again, you just keep playing with different wordings and different uh, things in here. These fields here, um, let's see, I think what we'll do is we're going to leave the highlighted section alone. Otherwise, you're going to have a highlighted section right here. I do not want that on this template. That's one of the changes I'm going to do. And I'll show you here in just a second. But see where it's highlighted, that green will stay green. If you type one thing in there, then you come back and try to change it. It won't let you take it out. It'll, it'll stay in there. Once it's in there, it's in there. So what we want to do is I just want to take this line of text here, go back over to my capture page, uh, capture page creator, and we're going to drop it right here. Now we're going to leave this alone. Remember, if you type anything in there, now if you want this to be highlighted right here, see where it's green? You want that to be there? Great. Go ahead and type something in there. You can play with it and see. I've just found my conversions are better without this. So if you type anything in here and you hit next, it's going to stay in there. Okay, now we're going to put a picture on there, which is going to make it look like a video. <clears throat> so I just went into my computer there, selected that. So I hit browse, went into my computer file where I kept where I keep all my videos, my pictures, things like that. And because this is a traffic formula that we're promoting, then that's the type of picture I'm going to use. If it would have been something that I was going to be on the next page doing a video or whatever, then I would have used uh, a picture of me. Hit next. Now at any point you can go preview it. So right here you just hit preview. See, we can preview it right there. So see, it's already starting to really form up and look pretty good. So anytime we want to go back and we can change this title, we can change this down here, we can change anything we want on this page at any time. All right, so here <clears throat> on this next step, and you can always go back. It's not going to hurt your settings or anything. You always go back while you're in the process of going through this. So right here, we're going to put... I think we'll click on, uh, I'm trying to remember which one of those I had the best. I believe it was this one here. <clears throat> okay, this top header. That's what's going to be right here. That's what you're going to have right in here. I'll tell you something else that works good right here is if you can like put in parentheses right after that, step by step, um, that works really good too. So anything you put here and underneath this is very, very important to getting people to opt in. So that's something that you really want to pay attention to. All right, we're going to click. See, here's your autoresponder choices right now that's in here. We're going to click Get Response. Now we're going to jump ahead here just for a second. Let's get this privacy text real quick. We'll get this stuff out of the way. Here's your privacy text. It's right down here at the very bottom. Very, very important. Because what you're doing is you're teaching people, basically, you're telling them what to do. People need to be taught what to do. See, I've got a space after that, so I'm going to use my delete button and back it up one, get rid of that space. All right, so it says important, colon, email entered above is where free video will be sent. Now, I've had to play with this to get it the right length because I, I had email address entered above. Well, that put it out past the end of the page. So it didn't fit in this little white box. It stuck it out here. You don't want that. You want to keep everything within its in its borders, inside of its box. Okay, so that's that. Then we have a choice of our button. Our button is going to be this right here. The button they click on. That's what that is. So we're going to select a button. And I've had really good luck. Get free report works really good. Watch video works pretty good. 
free access works really, really good. Instant access, it works pretty good too. Sign up now. Yeah, I've, I've had less conversions when I had that because they think they're having to sign up for something. So you gotta, you, you got to think like somebody else would think. Put yourself in their shoes. So we're going to go ahead and just go with free access. All right, to get your autoresponder code, let's go over here to get response. You can see I'm logged into my account here. So what I've done is go to web forms, click on create new. All right, we're just going to do a simple web form. So here's a simple web form. We don't want all this stuff. So we're just going to uncheck header, footer, name, privacy, powered by. So this gives us a real clean little web form. Hit next step. Now make sure <clears throat> that you're on the right campaign. So you've got all your different campaigns and you may not have any in yours. You may have to set up a campaign. So you want to make sure you're on the right campaign when you do this. Here's another thing. Your web form name I title mine for whatever the domain name is. Um, that way, when I go through the different forms, I can track which capture page, which landing page is doing what. Instead of just throwing them all in the same web form, which I done in the very beginning, you can't track stuff properly. So we're going to title it exactly what that capture page name actually is, that address. Here we want to click on custom thank you page and this is going to allow us to put in a cup a, cap, a, a custom capture page so what I like to do is have a, a thank you page so I've created a thank you page just for this domain name we're working with so it's targeted traffic secret.com forward slash thank you blah 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 <clears throat> this is what they're going to see when they opt in so when they put their name and email in this form on our, on our landing page, they're going to go to this page. It's going to give them some instruction about how to go to their email, check their email, whitelist me, all right? And then they can click here and go to the next step, which is our video, um, our free video series that we want to, uh, to give them. And then I've thrown in my copyright stuff too. So you can create these. Now here's something with version one it don't create your capture page or your uh, excuse me your your thank you page for you version two of this software it creates your thank you page for you automatically so when you're going through the steps we're going through right here and you're you're in version two you're automatically going to have a thank you page created for you okay so pretty uh, pretty cool. All right, so we're going to put our thank you page in here. We're going to take that out. And let's just go back and make sure it put it all in there. And it did. Okay. Hit next step. All right, right here, leave all this stuff alone. Hit show HTML code. Okay, there's your code. Now we want to unclick this, so we want to turn this off. All right, so we want to highlight this. So we've got that copied in our mouse. All right. Now let's go back over to the software. Right here where it says HTML AR, which is autoresponder code. Right click. Drop that in there. Let's hit next step. Okay, so right here, I want to show you what happens. Remember, we previewed it just a little bit ago. Well, let's preview it again. Right here. All right. See, it's pretty clean. Now, see how nothing's right here underneath here? Watch what happens. 
when we hit next step. See, we're going to leave these. We're going to leave this alone. We don't want to bother this. Watch what happens. Now let's hit preview. All right, see how it placed a check mark right here, and that's because this page is designed to have a bunch more options underneath here that you can have bullet point checks. So if you want to have, you know, here's what you get. You get blah blah blah. Then another check mark. You get this too, and then another one. You get this also, and blah. You know, it creates a whole long menu. I'm going to show you because you can't get rid of this check mark. That's the way the template's designed, and you can add more check mark, but you can't get rid of this one. So I'm going to show you how to use this to your advantage. So let's uh, let's go back. Leave the title alone. And let me show you. Let's get rid of some of these windows. All right, so here's here's the capture page that I've used. Another one that I've got that works really well. So we're going to drop that right in there. Hit next. Now let's preview it. All right, see what it did? It dropped that right in there. So there's a check mark, which kind of draws attention. <clears throat> like I said, it's there. We can't get rid of it. So we're going to use it to our advantage. Your information is safe with us. We hate spam too. It takes it takes that pressure off of people. Let me take a drink here. So it takes the pressure off of people. And it lets them kind of relax. So see, we've got this capture pages, uh, capture page created. Now down below it says powered by Easy Landing Page Pro, copyright, blah blah blah. All right, here's another thing that you can do. If you want to put your disclaimer stuff, which I do, if you want to do that, you can. Or if you just want to leave that alone, you can also do that. I like to put it in there. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got uh, this capture page is already done. Oops, that's the preview. All right, this capture page is already did, already done. So I'm going to pull up the privacy policy. This is one of my capture pages, and we're going to paste it. I'm just going to show you how to do this. You can go to the internet, search uh, privacy policies, get free ones, or you can create your own like I did. I've got an LLC, so I've had lawyers help me create this stuff. Just for my LLC. All right, so terms and conditions and you can see this one this is really extensive like I said it's it's for my LLC and I'll mention again please do not copy this stuff because this is copyrighted stuff and it's my stuff <clears throat> so here we're gonna make a little bit of a change real quick the good thing about it it highlights it so we're gonna change this to make it for this page there again I own all this so I can change this because it belongs to me. So you can go create your own <clears throat> your own stuff. And if you've got an LLC, which I recommend, um, if you're going to be serious about your business, you want to first of all you want to have a a good tax person. 
a CPA. And in order to get an LLC, you, you got to go to, you have to talk with a lawyer and just do things right. They don't cost much money. It cost me a hundred bucks, I think. Okay, right here. Change that. <clears throat> See, when we did this, it took us it took us quite a while. It took us a couple of days to go through all this stuff and get it right the way we want it. But this protects you. You can go right out here on the internet. You can get this stuff for free. And it'll work fine for you. Okay, so we got that done. <clears throat> All right, now. Here's something very, very important right here. So tracking and analysis codes. So if you had Google Analytics, which I've got on my blog, um, I've got another tracking service that I'm going to give you for free. And you can put it right in here <clears throat> and it'll allow you to track all this stuff here. So let's jump over there and get that. And this service will actually give you more than what Google We'll give you so we're going to enter we're setting up a new project so I'm, I'm logged into my account I went here I hit add project so now I'm putting in the domain we're working with so targeted traffic secret.com <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we want to click on invisible tracking. <coughs> Excuse me. How do you want your weekly reports? You want them weekly, monthly, daily? I like mine weekly, <coughs> so Monday morning. Get a drink there. Excuse me. <coughs> so Monday morning, when I go into my email, I'll check all my stats from my different websites and landing pages it gives me that weekly report so I know what happened weekly you can set it up however you want but that's what I do hit add project okay right here hit default installation guide here's your code click on it once it highlights it you can right click copy it all right and then all we have to do is go back over here to our landing page Right click, paste, drop it right in that box right there. Hit next step. <clears throat> your, new, your unique name of your landing page, what do you want to call it? And nobody's going to see this. This is just for you when you go into your back office. So we'll put uh, TTS, Targeted Traffic Secret. Let's look at it one more time. We hit preview one more time. Everything looks good. Everything's within its, its borders, its lines. Everything's above the fold. Got all of our tabs down here. All right, let's hit save. We'll take a drink here while that's saving. And what we're going to do is we're going to test it. <clears throat> All right, so see, here it is right here, TTS. And then it tells you, of course, the name of it right here, targetedtrafficsecret.com. Okay. 
See, it says status live. Okay, let's close out some of these windows here. Get rid of some of this other stuff. Don't need that. <clears throat> we'll come back here and check our tracking here in just a second to make sure it's working right. All right, so now what we can do is we can go click on the actual name, the domain name, and see there's the old one. Hit refresh. And it may take this a little bit to catch up because, see, I've already got it on another server. So it may take it just a little bit to propagate because we're going from one set of uh, server from one server to the other so it's, it's going to go through all these name changers and it may take it a little bit um, so we may not be able to get it live on the domain name just yet but here's what I just did <clears throat> let's say we want to go back in there and let's say we want to test it or go through and, and make changes you just click on that tab I just clicked on, you leave all this stuff alone, click next, leave everything alone, click next, leave all this alone. Unless you want to change templates, you can go right back and you can click on any of them, you go to your next step, leave everything alone, just go right on. See we can preview it here, but pretty sure we're gonna be we're gonna have to because see it's is propagating right now so we're just gonna have to wait yeah, it's just not gonna we're just gonna have to wait on it. so uh, but here's what it looks like we can check our tabs down here see there's privacy policy here's earnings disclaimer Terms and conditions. See, this is where I made the changes a while ago while you was watching. So everything is working. The only thing we need to do is we need to test it, uh, the opt-in, make sure it's it's doing what it's supposed to do. And we don't want to do that until we can do it live off of our domain name. So we're just going to have to wait for that to go. But anyway, that's uh, that's that's how you use this. It's uh, it's not hard to use. It's just it's matter of fact, it's just really simple to use. So that's uh, really all I want to share with you in this video. What I'm going to do is let me uh, try one thing. Let's just log out of everything. I'll try clearing my cookies out. And we will just uh, see if this thing will be live. I really imagine that I'm going to have to wait. So let's go here and yeah see it's just we're just going to have to wait on it. It's, it's going through the name servers because I see if I hadn't had it already hosted somewhere else, we wouldn't be having to wait on it. But where I've had it hosted, this domain, I've already had it live somewhere else. It's going through all the name changes from server to server, so it, it could take it up to an hour. But what I'll do in, in uh, the, uh, the next video is I will show you exactly how this is doing because what I'm going to do is I'm going to send traffic to it 
So I'll show you how it's uh, how it's performing and the conversions and things like that. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you conversion code. We'll get we'll grab a conversion code. We'll go to that custom thank you page that we uh, sent our traffic to. You know, so once they opt in that capture page we just built, that landing page, it's going to take them to that thank you page. We're going to go put a code on that thank you page, and then we can check our conversions. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.